Well, hello. Thanks to whoever would be watching. Uh, I'm back again with Tzar in his uh, quest to level up to maximum levels. Well, I have a choice of doing Quinn's quest, which involves a lot more sneaking around and breaking into things. Or I can go do this quest, where I travel to a dungeon. Uh, hunt down and kill a bunch of bandits and steal their treasure or more likely get back this I think it was a sailor's pipe back for this guy over here so let's do that instead because it'll be a bit more interesting Quinn's quest up there involves sneaking around another mansion while trying not to get killed Oh yes, check the endeavors, pick some locks, launder, well that'll just happen automatically, kill 10 humans, that'll happen. That is for um, the Undaunted quest, I probably won't bother with that. So it'll be picking locks, laundering things, and killing people. Not a problem. Oh yes, don't ever kill livestock. The whole place goes nuts. This is the dungeon we're going to. The reason I'm taking this, going down to this one first is I'll uh, swing down to here, to the Way Shrine, probably pick up the uh, Sky Shard here and here, and then hit the dungeon. <coughs> Once I've done that, I'll never have to come back here again. Up there is the first sky chart I'm going to pick up. Here we go. Collect all resources that you reasonably can on your way to doing other things. The two boss monsters in here are actually really tough and you know they really can do them without help. I know there are a few people who can, but most of us aren't superhuman. You never have enough of that. Hmm, treasure chest. That worked on one of our endeavors. I'm not actually going to use that way shrine, I just wanted to discover it for the experience points and being able to tr travel to it later. Hmm, 
be a book around here somewhere. Oh, up ahead. Gain some more in the Mage Guild. I'm trying to get it to pop that I discovered this place here. Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. Finally. Okay. It's a little easier to go up this way because I'm after the next sky shard here. Unless there's a bunch of people actually fighting her down there. Try to avoid that. <clears throat> Fire Panther. I'm going to need to go over there eventually, so I'm going to swing over and get the uh, way shrine up here. There are enemy soldiers in this area, so I was kind of hesitating. I didn't know if that other person was one of these guards or an actual player. Okay, got that out of the way. Still need to cut, kill a few humanoids. Let's see, where am I at? I'm over here. We'll just straight, head straight over to the other uh, sky shard here instead of wasting time at the sightseeing place down south. That's my cat. He likes sometimes being part of this. Certainly don't make it easy to get to these. Ah, 
Okay, now it's time to go visit our friends in the pirate's den over there. She has a quest in here that involves killing more people and painting some walls. Bunch of waterlogged elves. Someone named a new Commodore, and now pirates scour the city looking for gifts to impress her. But everything in the grotto is ours, stolen fair and square. Nobody loots our loot. Everybody wants to be one of the shark's teeth, eh? All right. Take this paint and a map of the grotto. Just place our sigil at the spots shown on the map to mark our territory. Simple, right? To show that sea elf captain and his toothless lackeys that the grotto belongs to the shark's teeth, of course. Just another bragging blowhard with a fancy hat, far as I'm concerned. Because I never sleep, I never stop moving, and I'm a born killer. Okay. What effectively happened here is her group of bandit, pirate, marauder, whatever, freebooters, was running this place. Another group moved in on them. Sort of like... Two crime families fighting it off against each other. She wants you to go in there, basically kill everybody and bring, give the uh, whole operation back to her. Whatever, it's for money. They do have some traps here. It's kind of embarrassing to get caught and accidentally die running into one of those. In particular, the poison traps are kind of annoying. Since I'm trying to give this guy experience and gain levels, I don't usually use the stealthy approach all that much. Okay, those are poisons, so stay away from those. Ah. What's she doing all the way down there? Sometimes I swear they're just useless. Okay, mark the wall with the gang initiation symbol. Could have come up with something better than that, but... But at least that guy over there gathered them all up in one group for us. Wait, somebody over here is still fighting? Oh, I'm still affected by poison. Not, not anymore. The hell is he? Oh, he's probably doing one of the other thieves guild quests up there. Met 
A sweet roll. <laughs> yep. Okay, fine. Brood mothers are kind of tough to deal with anyway. Or annoying to deal with would be the better way. One more symbol. There might be, yep, the uh, lion back here. Unfortunately, these guys don't leave you a lot of choice about killing them. Here I'll try and sneak so I can avoid bothering these. Because the real target is up here, the giant turtle. Uh, I'm going to have to do this twice because whoever that is already killed the big guy once. Oh, I actually did complete it. Wow. Usually you have to kill this guy too. Eh, too bad. Sometimes I have a treasure chest in here. The reward for killing those bugs really wasn't worth the effort to kill them. Now there's one more wall and the sky shot that I have to pick up over here.
by knowing the pathways to get up here, you can avoid some problems. But these guys. I'm going to see if I can get out of here without having to go all the way back through that. Get in there. Okay, we've completed this dungeon and a part of the Thieves Guild quest. Collect your money, get your prizes. Leave. Okay, I guess we'll go up there and discover that, uh... Discover... What did she get attacked by? Nothing. Okay, go up there and discover the, uh, crafting site up here. Oh, good. We've discovered another uh, landmark.
I didn't see anybody have anything parents. Okay, back to the way shrine here. see that guy to turn this quest in, then we'll do Quinn's quest. We also have the initial Thieves Guild's quest to pickpocket treasures. wait until it goes into the green. Otherwise you'll end up getting uh, having the guards call on you. Uh, guess he doesn't have anything worth a while on him. What do I do? Now that raised your thieves killed. And that next quest is at one of the boss sites. Now uh, let's go see Quinn and her double life. There's something in, in his travels. My father brought notices to every outlaw's refuge in Tavern. Bounties for old relics wanted by the thieves. Nobody recognized his name or description. Zero suspects he worked with one of the thieves who died in the Dowry House. He must have seen it. The last relic sought by the thieves' guild would make a tempting target. York Sockley remembers the thieves' guild sold many relics to Lady Sue, love of Vars Landing. My father must have been Leaky by Lady Sunia's mansion already. I'm not religious, but I said a prayer to Ori this morning. We find nothing. The last time I asked around, the Iron Wheel set a trap for us in Falsary Homestead. This time, I listened. Lady Sunia rarely leaves her estate and has a connection to one of the merchant lords. It must be where this is. Okay, so we're basically supposed to go break into a house near. Uh, Possibly a family acquaintance or friend, and steal documents, papers, or anything else relating to her father.
I wonder if it's worth it to go get invisibility potions, but not likely. Now's a good time to get rid of the other companion. Because she tends to attract attention too much. Especially when I'm trying to sneak. If only Marthys could do that. God will be here any second. Last chance. gave me that gift when I was a child. At his last visit, he took it to have it rebound. Why is it in this woman's hall? I believe that's my father after 
you on the damn sky watch. He kept it with him for now. What's he doing here? I found something too. A mattress with an old key. My father wore this wherever he went. There's a key. There must be a lock. You, why do you have my father's things? To walk us breath. Sir Rodolfo was born to stand before me. Why are you in the bar's landing instead of your academy? I'm looking for my father. Why do you know who I am? My dear child, he's gone. When the iron wheel came for him, he fled to the roof tent. They gave chase and he fell. I'm so sorry. You're lying! Oh, child, I grieve for him every day. He was the only person I ever loved. to Sir Waldo's daughter? This must be much for her to take in. Please, when? What a lovely name. It's the first time my ears have heard it. Sir Waldo kept all but the simplest details of his daughter from Edward. After Sir Waldo's death, the Iron Wheel learned of our connection and sent a letter requesting an interview. What fortune I possessed now goes to the person. I wonder if that is well. Sir Waldo did his private work in his room. And recently I had it so I have never seen anything. I only trust my guards as long as I can pay them. So you would do best to me. I'll be outside. Fortunately, I'm not high enough up in the thieving skills that I can have my bounty go down anytime not reasonably soon, so I have to burn those hard ones. Okay, another part of the thieves guild done. Okay, there isn't much here to do, so we might as well start doing some of the assassins again. Or actually, Dark Brotherhood, the correct name. Yeah. Plus. 
New Are you really so desperate? I'm sorry. Now over to Gold Coast and start doing the Assassin's Guild. Then yeah. though I can run over here and unload a bunch of stuff I've just stolen. Watch where you step. All of this stuff is either resource, uh, actually all of it's resources except for that. So that's why you go ahead and fence this so you can use it later. And that just completes all the endeavors too. But since we now have a bounty on us, we need to use other one of these. Now we're going to wander around the dock to find our contact. You there, wait for a moment, if you would. Pardon the interruption. I've been looking for you. Not me. I have something for you. A letter. Confidential. Yes, indeed. Emily Crow. Do you know her?
And now we're about to become a member of the Dark Brotherhood. I am a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood, as were you should. Splendid. The two, in return, the Imperial, that is, excellent. The wise traveler, Eminem, the seal, the Witherer, the Black Sacrament, the Witcher's Witches, our unholy name, there will be time, the Black Sacrament, the Blade of Woe. Okay, we just went through all the Blade of Woe. Basically, to test our loyalty, we're supposed to go over here, uh, up north somewhere, and kill this guy in an estate who has effectively wronged somebody, it doesn't really matter. And this is how you become a paid assassin. Another sky shard to pick up over here. And here we are at the Withered Rose. Not she'll actually still be alive. Nope, somebody already killed her. That's why you use the uh, <clears throat> blade of wall.
this is another one of those places where you, where you only get to go through once. So, again, steal everything you can. Okay. So far, amazingly enough, I haven't acquired any bounties. You can always throw away the garbage that doesn't sell later. And in we go.
I'll wait till he walks down there to get him. Oh well, <clears throat> took care of them. Then finally, after this whole run to the dungeon, we're about to get to our target. Thank <laughs> you. 
fois sur mon snake. Show yourself. Okay, we're about to finish the quest. Hopefully this guy doesn't turn. And so much for him. Unfortunately with these Dark Brotherhood quests, you tend to rack up bounties pretty badly. In some cases it doesn't make any sense at all, since the main object is go in there and kill everybody. So there isn't going to be really anyone left alive to talk, but yet they still give you bounties. <laughs> so, 
of that. Go to consumers. Counterfeit party. And now I can go wander into any town and no one will bother me. Since we're here, we might as well see this site. It has a bunch of trolls on it. And over there is one of the group trial dungeons. These guys I can outride, but if I had my companion with me, she'd end up getting slowed down by them. Oh. Quick trip to the Thieves Guild here to unload some of our previously owned goods. Unfortunately, we've gotten to the limit amount of stuff I can sell, at least uh, in the black market. However, if I increase my trafficker rate, I can sell more. You don't really need to increase your trafficking rate much. One level will be fine, and then you can unload pretty much anything you can steal in one session. Turn to this guy. We know that Quintus Jarrell is dead. The Brotherhood has eyes. They have been watching you for a long time. Killing the nobles in pursuit of our colonies. Now you need to meet your brothers and sisters. Not far. It's the reason I summoned you to the Gold Coast. The black door will pose a question. What is the flavor of fear? Reply. Sublime, my brother. And a sanctuary shall be opened to you. Of course. 
Since the formation of the Dark Brotherhood, our shadow has stretched across the entirety of Tamil. Not every sanctuary has flourished, however, not that it concerns you, but Vardenfell continues to be a source of irritation. The Gold Coast, however, presents an opportunity we can all profit from. Here we can establish a foothold that can serve the Brotherhood for generations. I am the voice of the Nightmare. She conveys her will to the listener, who then passes it on to one of the four speakers of the Black Hand to carry out. The Black Hand, the instrument by which the Night Mother rules the Dark Brotherhood. It consists of one listener and four speakers, four fingers and a thumb. Never more, never less. Just a little business I have to attend to. I do like to keep my daddy shut. The Brotherhood isn't bad yet, but we do have certain obligations. I gave her the greatest gift of all. Just as you gave the same gift to Lord Jarrod. And there will be many more gifts to grant before your work is done. Well, so you see, the Dark Brotherhood basically works like a cult more than anything else, really. But they are pretty decent source of rewards. I'm going to finish out by going and visiting. Oh, I actually have to ride there. I forgot I haven't done much of this. Well, I might as well pick up the quest here and get that out of the way, too. Oh, the Wisp Mother. That's not so bad. Oh, that's right. Dungeon quest here, too. Since you're going to run through the whole thing anyway, you might as well do his quest plus the main quest you're on. And we might as well bring back our companion, too. Did I miss anything interesting? And off we go. And somebody's been here already because there should have been a zombie guarding that. No, that's fine. Oh, cool, a treasure chest. Grab that. <laughs> Unfortunately, at this level, Everything I picked up from that treasure chest isn't really sellable at the guild bank.
Okay, to fulfill the quest of that guy was sitting there in front of the dungeon entrance, we have to go in here and take out a couple of vampires. Your evil ends here. <laughs> to these caverns. Once you're certain all of the vampire's victims have been accounted for. We'll clear them out as we go through the rest of the dungeon. Now back to killing off the wisp mother. We should get there before this guy does it. Don't forget to pick this up on your way out. I do it a lot with my other characters. And then you have to come back. No treasure over at the Wisp. And we're done with the dungeon. We've also completed the specific dungeon quest. Now we're going to go turn in the daily quest. Return as promised. Not bad. Nothing. Both your companions like it when you read. Oh. 
walking anyway. No pickpocket stuff. Gain interest to the sanctuary. Might as well go run over and get to the sanctuary now. And now we're in the dark sanctuary. The more our tongue are bad enough, at least they don't kill for fun. Oh yeah, I forgot. You shouldn't bring anybody into this either. Because both of your companions will dislike you for being in here. You must be the new and this we explore the sanctuary. Meet the others. At least the ones currently at home. I believe we never go meet the people. I don't know if I'm gonna have this character do much in the Dark Brotherhood. Ah, she did argue. What more could you possibly need? I could have sworn. What an intrigue. So you are the Amazon. <laughs> oh, there's no. You shouldn't know them. Sweet. Our mother. Ah, this just. We're going running around meeting the various members of the Brotherhood. Oh no. That was well, it wasn't the day I had to make a living. I was branded as a killer, so kill it. It's all right, little one. Just a mistake. Your new brother or sister must be here. You want to meet them? Come on now, Hilda. Don't be shy. Sorry, she can be skittish around strangers. No break! Of course. That's not a werewolf. Hildegard Friersu, I'm a skilled hunter. Taming it. I always like indeed I Man, so much for their stories. One more person to talk to. Well met, brother, did you? By the way, not everyone appeals to the Dark Brother. Typical. Travel, what are you standing around for? Well, I've picked up a contract, but I'm not going to bother doing that one. I have enough assassins as my characters as is.
it's still a good idea to get the extra skill point and at least get the skill line started. And now, speaking of getting skill lines started, when you hit level 10, you can go to Cyrodiil. I probably won't PvP much with this character, but it's still a good idea to get in there, do the first couple of quests in the base camp, and get your skill lines going. And then if you want to PvP with the character or not, do so. Or don't. Okay, Elder Scroll. There's the captain. Hold a moment, soldier. I'll call that's the spirit. Here. I'll mark it on the map. Report to General Madras when you arrive. You should stay ahead. Okay, let's go skip the training because I've done this several times before. I have a war to direct. It will serve you. Excellent, my reason. And there you go. You gain your support lines, you get another level. I see the skills here. Vigor, which is useful if you're a stamina user and you need to heal. Rapid maneuvers may be useful a little later. You have support. The siege shield, that's if you're getting sieged, of course. Later on, we'd want to work this up to get purged to get rid of negative effects. Oh, that's right. We have to go over to Imperial City and enter that campaign to go talk to that general real quick. As you can tell, nobody is in Imperial City right now. Tell you, huh? We're holed up, so you're not. Now we go talk to the Duke of Blades.
Hmm. Let's wander down the sewer for a few minutes. Okay, we're near Geisha Tunnels, and this actually is a PvP area. So somebody could attack and kill me at some point. I hate when it does that. Yep, and there we go, the ganker. Uh, of course, this is why nobody goes into tunnels anymore. At all. Well, that was fun. See the world. Nope, actually, there's nothing here that I can sell because it's not high enough level. Okay, well now that we're out of that. Not really sure if I want to start any of those, so we'll go home. Put black wood for a little while. Do that. The Ivory Brigade has need of this. Let's see what stuff we got. Now let's see what I have that I can actually use.
then it looks about what we can do for upgrading our right now. That's slightly better. Stuff. Look at what the bug does. Did you come here for crafting certification? The reason I'm newer characters I have them deconstruct the crafting is to raise their skill level in crafting up. Once it gets to 50, when they start picking things up off the ground, it'll be at the higher level ores or wood or whatever, instead of the stuff that really isn't all that sellable. Okay, four. Teaser's next adventure. We'll be going to Somerset. The reason why we're going to Somerset is so we can do the first part of the psychic quest so you can start picking up, or so I can start picking up those the uh, treasure and stuff the from the psych small psycho portals. The island sprung a leak. Run. Unfortunately, to get that point, you sort of have to fool around for a little while doing this quest line real quick. But I'm going to leave it here for now. I may be back on later on tonight, but that'll most likely be PvPing unless serial is so laggy and slow, then I'll come back and do more of this. Anyway, thanks for watching.